Mark. Great to see you. Um, great to see you again. And uh, is Doug Cutting coming on? Or? He's having a quick bite. He's going to join us in a little okay, bit. Okay, great. Okay. So, last year, you were at Bank of America, and they're still, although still on the video, but uh, now at Trisada, <laughs> you, which you announced on theCUBE at Strata in February. That's right. And we've talked many times. Great guest. You coined the term data factory, still popular video from last year. Thank you. What's different in a year? Obviously, you have a company. I know. Okay, you're on your own and you're kicking butt. So tell us what's happened in the in this next this past year for you personally with the company and also the business. What have you seen change? This Absolutely, been a big sea change. I think uh, first of all, it's always good to see you guys. Uh, <laughs> you guys make big data look really good, I and mean, we, we appreciate it. So I think a lot has changed, and you've been following it as closely as I have, right? So it's been uh, 12 months. Yet another bumper conference, right? Cloudera's uh, put another good show up. Um, the cube is bigger. Uh, Priscilla is bigger, so I think um, I think we are seeing the word data factory or data pipeline emerge a lot. In fact, it's funny uh, the number of startups are trolling uh, this Hadoop world, and how many people are using the term for all sorts of industries um, and all sorts of problems. Be it the web, uh, be it uh, healthcare, be it uh, mobile. I heard Nokia was here. Yeah, amazing. So I think I think it's uh, I think uh, that's different. I think we, the word has got. Or the, the, I think the idea, the concept of taking big data and automating the pipeline has become real because you're seeing real life applications of it. I think Hadoop is bigger, right? Big data is bigger. Last year, there was one company that we all knew of uh, that remained the leaders of it and now we have Hortonworks. Yeah. So I think you certainly see a lot more action in the distribution layer. I think the third thing that's really changed and it's bigger is you've seen the, uh, the creation of companies like ours, right? Where, a, where Peter Fenton said the best thing. We believe Hadoop is ready for the enterprise. It really is ready for the enterprise, outside the web. And what it's been waiting for is um, an application to pull through the stack. Because the basic components work. You can store the data, you can process the data, you can access the data, you can run analytics. And what needs to be built next has got to be driven by the enterprise, who is using it for use cases. So I think as applications like ours come up, we will see Hadoop become a lot stronger and a lot bigger. So I'd like to ask you uh, on, a, on a more personal note, last year you made a personal journey transition from big company where you were playing with a lot of big data, Bank of America, you went out on your own to start Triseda. Um, share with folks, because um, there are entrepreneurs coming into the marketplace. You were one of the early pioneers jumping in and you saw it, uh, <laughs> you didn't need any more evidence, you just jumped <laughs> right in. Um, talk to the folks out there about the transition, it's real. Um, you can build a company, there's funding available, there's solutions to be solved, to be had, and uh, problems absolutely. to be solved. So share with the other entrepreneurs out there. Absolutely, I think, uh, and I said this last, I think I, I've said this to you, uh, not last year, but in our multiple conversations, we are witnessing uh, a massive revolution around data. And I think uh, there are enough problems to solve. I do believe that the distribution layer of Hadoop has activity and doesn't need any more. So what we really need to build are the applications, right? The, the MS offices on top of the windows, right? The, the next need generation. A visit calc. Visit calc. <laughs> <laughs> but the next generation databases, the next generation analytical factories, they can solve real problems. And the industries are there for the taking. I think Poseida is going to maintain a leadership in financial services that we keep building on. I will tell you, we share some interesting stories with you. But I think healthcare is out for the taking. And I think, as you, to your point, the ideas exist, the business problems exist, they are big ones. The, the concept has transitioned from the web to the, other, to the enterprise. And if you have an idea, the tools are there. And the best part of it, unlike 20 years ago, when you were starting a company around data, you would pay a, you'd have to pay a toll to the back end. There is no toll. Innovation is free. Innovation is, is liberating. And this is a, a massive opportunity for our fellow entrepreneurs. It's so exciting, the open source um, growth is in, and, and what we clarified yesterday was, there is no war in the Apache community, okay? Mm -hmm. There's been some press trying to throw some grenades around and, and uh, we're joined with Doug Cutting, the founder of Hadoop. Speaking of open source. Doug, good to see you. Hey Doug, hey. how's it going? So you, got some, you have a handler now. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you made it. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Is that what defines it? Uh-oh. <laughs> He's got I'm a sure handler. It's perfect. <laughs> Doug, welcome back to the Cube. Uh, Thank you Great very to much. see you. Uh, congratulations. A great year. Uh, you're working on a great project. We'll jump into it. But uh, just want to ask you, because uh, 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 what's changed in a year? Just tell us your perspectives uh, for the industry, open source, and you personally. 
I mean, I think it's mostly just the momentum has has increased even even more, and uh, you know, it's just just uh, the the size of this conference uh, demonstrates that. Um, the excitement that everybody's having, um, the fact that we're seeing um, big players like Oracle and Microsoft and IBM uh, all getting involved in this um, really establishes this as the uh, as the big data platform. Uh, as the you know, and it really is. Um, you know, we we we're sort of predicting that before. But I think when you've got the, the major players of the industry um, all uh, you know uh, signing onto it too, yeah. uh, endorsing it, um, it, it's it's really here. Um, still young, uh, you know, still still got a ways to go. Um, but but uh, it's it's yeah, really exciting. We were, we were predicting last year. In fact, we coined the term "big data revolution," and we're like, "Oh yeah, that's kind of yeah." It's now officially it happening. It yes. absolutely is. Yes. And, uh, and big and small companies. Man. Yeah. 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 I mean, you are bigger than me, but I think people like us are uh, are leading the light. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, I mean it's it's across the board, and I mean it's. I think a lot of times it's easier for big companies to get started with, right? Um, uh, because they tend to have the, the the bigger problems that that really force it, where there's no other way to do it. Um, and the budgets to experiment, absolutely, um, and so they can they can go out and, and try it first and and make it easier for the for those who come next. I mean, you guys both sort of predicted growth, maybe not to this extent, but Doug, obviously, you kind of gave up your life for this, and Avi, you gave up your nice cushy job. Right? <laughs> what 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 surprised you though? What what shockers? I have think you uh, the biggest surprise for me has been the tremendous amount of global interest. We just did a webinar called Hadoop and the Big Data Opportunity in Banking. We had people sign in from France, Germany, Holland, Australia, India, China, Africa, Latin America. So I think just the, we have a new prediction, right? We have a prediction that in five years from now, every single bank in the world will have a do. And I think it's not bold anymore. It's actually, it's, I'm setting my sights It's low. a mandate. It's more, not a prediction, it's a mandate. A ex exactly. So I think uh, you, you see, it's what surprised, what surprised us is the Hadoop people, I will view a meeting with the head of McKinsey's uh, financial practice today, right before I came here. And it's the guy who's, uh, who 12 months ago did not know what Hadoop was, except the fact that an elephant reference. <laughs> and he sits out with us today morning and he says, I get it. And we say, what do you mean? He goes, the reality is 20 years ago, the relational databases couldn't do certain things. And you're telling me that I can walk up to the CEO of a bank and say, forget all those assumptions. You actually can look at all of your data. You can look at the individual level and you can solve problems you can't solve before. And he goes, I get it. It's, it's absolutely, completely a revolution. It's, com it's completely compelling, um, and what's driving it is the open source. Doug, while you're here, I wanted to ask you, because we clarified yesterday that although there was press mentions and trying to gin up a war, oh, Apache's getting forked, that the forking conversation was being discussed in the press, and you know, it's clear to us that the open source community around Apache right now is solid. There is Definitely. no, yeah, no there is total peace and love in the community right now. I mean, there's, there's, do you agree with that statement? And uh, what's your opinion? There's certainly productive collaboration. Um, whether whether everyone loves one another or not um, is, a, is a separate question. I'm not going to venture. Um, uh, but they don't have to. We've got it. We've got a you know a system where they're they're collaborating productively together, um, and and so we we they're recognizing um, each other as competitors on a commercial basis. Okay, and that people are going to have different strategies, but in the production system of code development, there is uh, no real issues at this point. People recognize no. that rising tide floats all boat, and why fight internally amongst each other? And no, and that, and that's the that's the point of, of open source is to collaborate with competitors, um, is to provide a, a neutral ground uh, to identify technologies um, which uh, are in everybody's interests and share them. And that's that's the purpose of the Apache Software Foundation, is to support projects uh, that are that are done collaboratively. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. and that's exact, exactly what we're seeing happening. Yeah. Um, we're getting we're getting a, a real diverse group of people. It's funny you um, talk about together. you talk about the revolution and you know the bank and the mandate and the guy who gets it. I think we're going to look back in history at the open source revolution that started you know in my early generation in computer science, where when you know Unix came out and that whole kind of stack as a historic moment that, look at this is how people produce code. And we, you commented on theCUBE uh, at Cloudera that you, know, you built a company and went out of business and all the code disappeared. Right. This has a living organism yeah. and people are involved and this is the new production system. And I think that's, to me, the most historic thing that's going on here. And I think it's spreading and evolving and developing much faster because it's open source. I think if somebody would have developed precisely the same Hadoop software as a proprietary uh, product and tried to distribute it um, uh, at the same time, uh, you, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. We wouldn't see this, yeah. this groundswell. Um, and, the, these, and, and it would be, 
less um, uh, commerce around Hadoop as well. Um, uh, that company would be smaller than uh, or any other companies in the, in the space. To me, uh, it's, so it, to me, it's totally true tech heroes out there. And, and we heard from people who have unequivocally said, open source is the gift that keeps giving. I wouldn't have my career if it wasn't for open source. Um, the Facebook guy said, you know what? Get involved in open source because not only is it good for your career, yeah. it's good for everybody. Right. Yeah. And it's the gift that keeps giving. So, yep. you know, these folks like yourself, Doug, will be, you know, I think heroes. And, and everyone's, these all the you know, collection of heroes working together. Superheroes, right? Superheroes. Right? Superheroes. <laughs> He'll be the heroes and dice yeah. the so, yeah. But I think there's another part about open source which has been uh, a pretty interesting change that we have seen, which is you also can now solve problems you couldn't solve before. So it's not just about the technology and how it's a living organism, the technology applied to real business problems, which is what we see in our industry, is extremely, extremely powerful. And you literally can solve, see, we are seeing use cases and business problems that our customers are saying, I could not have done this if it were not for the power. Yeah. And seeing also the adoption of the, the trail you blazed in the web space and saying, I get it, it scales, it works, and it's massively powerful. Well, let's talk about that, because we had uh, the big data guy on the fund from XL Partners, Ping Lee, and Mike Olson were on, and obviously Cloud Air just got 40 million in finance, and Val, all that validation. This money coming in to commercialize these, these things. It used to be in the business, uh, the old way, that the phrase, that's a feature, not a company. I'm not going to invest. And that, you know, that's kind of the VC kind of, the venture capital world. We, uh, you know, we don't invest in features, but today, you can actually have a compelling feature that changes a business. Absolutely. And that goes viral and creates massive change you can build a company around. So Absolutely. Do you agree with that statement? And can you show some examples of how one little good idea, it could be an analytic thing, and completely agree with change it. the world? I completely agree with it. I think, uh, I'll use our example, Crusader is a living example of it. Right? I think data at its, uh, at its widest self is not new. But the ability to process it, analyze it, get information from it at scale was an idea that could not be executed. So for us to start a company and build what we call the first data processing pipeline, analytical engine for financial services, to create a total view of customer, not a single view of customer, but a total view of customer, that has the ability to look at structured data, unstructured data, social data. We see enough clients, it's a great example, clients coming to us and saying, I got 100,000 people who like me on Facebook. What is a like worth? And you go, well, why is that question important, right? It's a fair question. And, and they say, well, I'm trying to decide, should I spend $10 million on advertising on Facebook or $50 million? And that answer, and the question becomes important. So how do you try to answer the question, right? It's a great example. If I just looked at unstructured data, and I just looked at Facebook information because of the, the client has access to it, all right, I can see if the guy follows you, how many friends he's got, but it's difficult to answer. If I just look at structured data and see how many products they have, what products they, they spend money with you on, et cetera. It's still difficult to answer. Now here's the game changer. If I was to able to bring structured data together with unstructured data, and now suddenly say, of the 100,000 people who like you on Facebook, X of them are customers. Y of them have, have every single banking relationship with you, and Z aren't even customers. So Z are probably worth less. But let's look at X that have everything with you, and your mortgage, your credit card, et cetera, is that guy worth more than the Y, who have only one product, but 5,000 followers, and is very influential? The answer is going to depend. So you may, uh, financially, a customer may look very valuable on unstructured data, but you bring this influencer behavior in, and the answer changes. Yeah. And that's becoming extremely and that's powerful. Value, that's, and that's valuable to people that, exactly. that was not able to be captured in real time. Absolutely. And that's the real time thing. Um, so Doug, fast forward five years. Put on your, you know, get out your telescope. It's five years from now. Where I don't know where we're going to be. We'd probably be in Vegas, but uh, forty thousand. We should be in Vegas. That's, yeah, that's a good goal to have. Attendees, okay, so yeah. let's see. How big is this event? What's what are we talking about at this event? What's the dynamic like? I generally try to avoid predicting the future. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of, lot of insight the there. We just and build the future time. The predictions I make tend to be simple, <laughs> linear ones, uh, you know, <laughs> onwards and upwards. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I really, it, it does really feel like this is um, going to become a, a major component, or has already become a major component uh, of um, uh, enterprise uh, data processing, um, uh, filling a really important gap um, that, that was basically left on the table. Uh, and I think the, the nature 
of the way the system is structured as open source, as a set of, of loosely coupled components, um, uh, really gives it strength um, and allows it to evolve and adapt. Um, and as you mentioned earlier, um, uh, people can add value at, at the component-wise level. They don't have to own the whole stack. Nobody owns the whole stack. We all share it. Um, uh, so I, it sure looks to me, I'll hazard a prediction, uh, like we're going we're gonna to continue to see this explosion. I think, I think there's a long ways to go before there's anything uh, close to saturation. Um, I think there's a lot of um, uh, immaturity in the technology still. Um, got, got a ways to go. It's, it's very useful today, useful to lots of folks, but it could be made a lot more useful, um, have more use cases. Um, and then there's a lot of folks who could be using it today who aren't yet. Um, and you top that off with the hardware is going to keep getting cheaper, which is going to enable all sorts of uses that today we can't even imagine that would seem, seem ridiculous. I mean, the things that people are doing today with Hadoop seemed ridiculous to, to, to think about doing five years ago. Or and, even two and, years ago. Or even two years ago. Yeah. Um, and, and so I, I, I think we're going to um, continue to be surprised by, by how this grows. I, the only thing I'll add is I think in five years from now, we will see multiple multi-billion dollar companies get created by entrepreneurs that we all love. Yeah, I, I mean, think, I think I mean, you're going to see a tremendous amount of innovation and new companies that I got, and these are not. Not just internet companies, like internet other, companies. Other, other industries. Yeah, like yeah. Tuxedo, right? Yeah, I mean, you will see multi-billion dollar yeah. companies yeah. being created. So. Like Twitter, the Twitters of the world. Twitter, Doug, exactly. Doug, so I want to, people want to know what you're working on, right? So we had uh, Amar on, and he was talking about uh, the thing going on with you know, Hadoop, but he mentioned your project. Can you just share with us uh, what you're working on right now, you're working on a pretty cool project that you're pretty pumped about. Sure, sure. I mean, I, I, I people ask me what I do, and I, I, I yeah. kind of have three jobs. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, one of them is I, I go around and talk to folks like you guys. Uh, it seems to be a good demand for that. Uh, uh, people want to hear about Hadoop, and and yeah. uh, and they and, and I'm, a, I'm a, a decent spokesman spokesperson for it. Um, I also spend a fair amount of time uh, working with the Apache Software Foundation. Um, I, I very much believe that they're a key to the success of this. Um, and I'm, I'm currently serving as the, the chairman of the board of Apache. And that takes you know, a certain amount of time to organize that and pay attention to that. Yep. Um, uh, but the, the software project I'm working on these days is a thing called Avro, um, trying to uh, develop a data format um, that's uh, language independent, uh, but also really supports... Um, documents? Uh, not so like much documents as, as dynamic um, data types, so that um, if you're, um, uh, you're, you've got some sort of query um, that's querying several uh, uh, complex data sets um, and it's generating a new data set, um, you're defining data types on the fly. Um, and uh, the way that people tend to do this is not with big statically typed programming languages these, these days, but with lightweight scripting languages. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of times people are doing exploration. Um, and we see more of that kind of stuff going, going forward. Uh, so we need to have um, tools to, um, to store that data efficiently um, uh, it makes a big difference if you can if you can you know store it in half the size and and process it twice as fast. Uh, just getting the, the, the data in and out yeah. um, that, that you know halves your your hardware costs, um, which is you know two is still a, a big number. Uh, um, uh, and so um, having a, a a format and and tools for um, reading and writing that that uh, that really plays to this new world where where we want to be able to, to dynamically um, handle complex data. Um, uh, between lots of different programming languages and different systems. So an, an, an interchange format um, for the ecosystem. It's not super sexy, um, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually sort of happy to toil away in the, in the back room on something that, that I think is important. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, you have to keep current, you got to be coding. Yeah. You're not coding, yeah. you, know, you lose it, you, know, you got to. You know, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the paranoid fear. You never yeah, want to yeah. stop because then I, you might never come back. I chairman of the board, I mean, you get, you're the chairman of the board, great title, but you, know, yeah. you could lose, you, know, you don't want to lose your edge. <laughs> I mean, Coding's I mean, not like riding a bike. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, but the boring stuff is interesting as well. I long ago thought I would have by now started being a manager or something like that and, and not writing any code, uh, and it, no I, it hasn't happened. Yeah, hasn't happened no yet. Fun in that. I don't know if there's fun in it or not, for, yeah. for whatever reason. Whether I just I, I'm obviously incompetent at, at those kind of things, and they and they just kept me. Or is that self-selected incompetence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm really bad at spreadsheets. Uh, but but I'm happy. Yeah, like, oh. But there's also yeah. personally, I get a feeling of satisfaction writing yeah. code that, that nothing nothing else quite gives me. That that yeah. I feel like I've actually done some real work. Uh, and if I run a meeting, you know. It, it's good. It's good. Somebody needed to do it, and uh, and I don't mind it. Um, but it doesn't have that same feeling of productivity. Yeah. Well, obviously, uh, you're committed to the ch as chairman of Apache, because it's a really important organization for obvious reasons. 
What about the overall growth um, in contribution to Apache? We've heard companies like NetApp and EMC, the bigger guys are coming in. They're actually now contributing. So have you seen an explosion of contribution, new people coming in, contributing? Oh, yeah. What's the dynamics there? Can you share your insight there? Definitely been an uptick. I mean, Apache, through the years, um, a lot of projects sort of have a life cycle um, where they're young, where there's a, uh, that then become very active. Um, and then a lot of times, some, some stay active for a long, long time, but a lot of times they get mature and, they sort of, and it sort of tapers off. Um, so over time there's always new people coming along in order to sort of maintain uh, the, 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 the foundation. But recently, in the last few years, we've definitely seen an uptick. And I've seen people speculate that, that Hadoop is, is a part of that. Um, uh, that, that it is the um, uh, destination of choice for Hadoop ecosystem projects. Um, uh, and, and rightfully so, I think. Um, uh, and and that, that, that this one project is really um, uh, helping the ASF to grow. Uh, there's a lot of other ways that ASF's been growing recently. I mean, we just added um, OpenOffice, which is one of the biggest open source uh, projects in the world, yeah, is yeah. Now, now joining the ASF, so. Awesome. Avi, so your growth strategy, is there an open source component? Are you guys contributing back, and is that part of the play yet? Have you hired people? What's the funding status? Last time we saw you, you were being clutched and grabbed by VCs at Strata. We, you know, <laughs> you're very articulate. You have a good handle of the financial services. What's going on in your world? The lot of progress. So as uh, I've made it a habit of making all our big announcements with you guys. So uh, we actually have a team. Uh, we have a great core team. We have eight people. Uh, they've been with the company for a long time now. We released our private beta two months ago. Our GA comes out in, in a few weeks. We're very excited. We've, uh, we're working with uh, uh, 10 close customers in the FS space, so very excited about that. Uh, have you raised money? Uh, no, we've, uh, we've, we did the hard way the first six months. Nice. We have a very small private round from Wall Street uh, the next six months, and uh, the phone keeps ringing, and uh, Cloudera doing what they did yesterday makes the phone keep ringing even louder. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I think that's a good problem for all of us to have. Yeah. But we're seeing tremendous traction in the As market. As I said to the last guys from Digital Reasoning, who I love, I just love that company. Agree. Um, auction. <laughs> you <know? laughs> hey, you guys should conduct it. You, you got the personality spread. But I think it's all, so what we're seeing really is, because we've now built, and we call it the first analytical application, completely powered by Hadoop, that leverages the power of it, and because we've done a great job at building an ecosystem of partners, advisors, everybody from BlackRock to McKinsey, to Cloudera and Hortonworks as they come to the market, we see a, the education part is over, guys. Man, this, is, this is now time. This time next year, when you and I are sitting here, I got, we need to have customers sitting here and telling you the story about how they use Trisada and Cloudera, right, together to solve problems that they haven't been able to solve before and reshape the financial industry. It's really, I gotta, I gotta say, on a personal note, it's been really fun. Uh, for all of us, we've all kind of, we're growing. It's a thermal that's pulling us up. You're the spokesperson, you have a handler, Doug. You know, and you see people with the handles, oh boy. He's, you know, he's, you know, and you're coding still. Uh, How can I growing. get to be a handler? I would love you know, to be a handler. You know, he's got a handler. You're, you're now an entrepreneur, you're growing. Cube is growing, we're growing. It's, and we've been part of a, a really great movement and being exposed to Hadoop only, I believe, yield, is yielding good things. It's a, it's a great market, great people involved. Thank you for your support. Absolutely. You guys are great. Um, thanks for coming on theCUBE again. CUBE Thank alumni, great many to times. Thanks you guys, as always. Um, thanks so much, guys. Thanks Abby for having Doug. us very much. Really it's appreciate it, and congratulations. You guys are heroes, man. We love Thank you. Thank you, so. Doug, always good to see you, my friend. Thank you, thanks a lot. Happy uh, Dang. Okay. okay. John, I'm going to get all teary-eyed here. You guys are amazing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, Thank you very much. <laughs>